What I've learned about science is that the advances takes a lot of perseverance and patience. It also takes being surrounded by a great team of people. In 2008, Dr. Mose was associated with the Children's Oncology Group and Pfizer thought that this might be a good opportunity to work with them to look at the drug that might be effective for pediatric diseases. We developed a liquid formulation and early clinical data looked very strong. And so we were excited about that. Took that out to a taste panel and the data that we got back from them was awful. Uh, they, I think they said this was the worst tasting palatable formulation. When medicine doesn't taste good, it's hard to give it to your three-year-old child that is fighting with all of her will against you. We really, really struggled with the oral solution. We got reports that it was like spicy Tabasco, tasted bad, burning and irritation. So I would like have it and then I would have like a spoonful of like whipped cream or like a few M&Ms because I did not like the taste. I sometimes had to chase Edie around the house to get her to take the medicine. I knew that every dose was extremely important. For a medication that needs to be taken twice a day, every day, with no break, that is not easy. Screamed 60 different taste masking excipients. To me, that speaks to the real challenge of this compound. The sense of urgency that you know the patient is truly waiting, and if they're not able to take the medicine, no matter how good the medicine is that we've developed, it's not going to work. That was our first real big wake up call that we needed to get on some pretty innovative technology in order to address this problem. So we did a lot of work to look at different taste mask coding. You cannot fundamentally change the characteristic of the active ingredient. If it's bitter, it's bitter. But what you can do is design the product that masks it. And then that led to the technology called microspheres. The microsphere formulation, that was a game changer. We're doing something that's never been done. Most parents and kids will remember, like, there's a cherry flavor you hate taking because you remember a medicine with that. So the unique aspect of this is if we can actually eliminate the taste question altogether. And that's what we've been able to do in this program. One of the most exciting things about this project is not just that it solved a very real challenge, but it also opened a doorway. So the more we look, the more opportunities we're finding of palatable, tolerable medicine for our patients in need. We take a look at those microspheres that we made. Oh, yeah. Microsoft, see how they look. One of the biggest privileges I've had is working with Pfizer and with the commitment to pediatric drug development. Can we get a scale on that? With size. Yeah. And I do think it's a really important way to impact the care of patients with cancer. To work for an organization that puts the patient first, I find that extremely rewarding and certainly proud to work for a company that enables us to do that.